Welcome to Long Lost Brothers, the podcast devoted to the acquisition of Betterment. My name is Brett Scott. And I'm Jesse Cole. And we are the Long Lost Brothers. Brothers. Jesse. It, it's been a hell of a week, dude. Oh, dude. <laughs> Let me tell you what. Okay, so essentially this has been like a really, really badass week. I mean, like, um, okay, so I'm training for this marathon, and last week I ran that 16 mile. And this week I did, but I did none of the preparation running throughout the week. I just kind of slacked off. This week I did every single one. So I ran like 36 miles this week, and then like. Yeah. Okay. I was going to ask you that because I knew, I know that you, uh, you crammed a lot of shit in this last couple of days yeah. but i was like oh i wonder God. if he stayed on track all week because i know the week before you slacked off a little bit yeah no i hit every single one like check 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 yep i got a five and i got up early before work and did them that's real so, yeah like i was like the discipline does not delineate <laughs> 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 and like in the on point ketogenic diet just steaks like i kept the gangster this week right. um Okay, so let's just fast forward to the good, the good part because I know you did some badass shit this week. But I'm yeah. gonna, I'm gonna, my my weekend was fucking purely insanity. Like, um, okay, so I, I slept in a little bit. I ran yeah, those sixteen. You've been a busy boy this weekend. Yeah, I ran those sixteen miles right. Um, I did not bring enough water. It was hotter than it has been. And I only brought one of them little uh, little eight ounce punks with me, and I I put um, the noon in it, but um, that was not nearly enough to support the the run that yeah. I did. Um, so yeah, it was not it was not a good experience. Um, I should have brought more water. It was a little hotter. I started a little later than I normally do. De- dehydration is no fucking joke. Yeah, not and um, that run knocked my dick in the dirt. Sixteen miles, and uh, and it, I like if I hadn't have done all the previous runs because I did a five, a day off, but I lifted weights I believe, and then I did an eight. No, no, I rested Tuesday, and then I did an eight, then a five, and then it was, I think Friday I uh, I did a bunch of like snatches and squats out of nowhere and bicep curls and push, you know, just a just a, a bro down. I just, um, I, did, I just don't know why I got a bug up my ass. I was like, I'm going to bust off some snatches. I haven't done yeah, snatches yeah. in like forever. So I was like, um, just got with it with some snatches, which is fun, which is cool, you know? Um, but, yeah, don't stay up late doing snatches and then go running, trying to – so I'm starting to get into those runs where um, it is an athletic uh, ability, you know. It's like you have to train for these things. Yeah. Because I forget that people train for half marathons. So I'm like, shit, I'll wake up and fucking fast and run fucking marathon. Right. right. Like, and I'm starting to get to the point where it's not that. So anyway, that, okay, so I did that run. I finished it at like 11 o'clock. I have a tattoo appointment for at, at noon. And – um. Yeah, that was a lot, bro. But um, I, I was trying to punk out and like let my my roommate take my my slot, but the tattoo artist was like, "Man, that's not really I, I set up for you." I was like, "I'm trying to do this, man." Um, and so I just went and did it, and um, got my back drilled on for like three hours. My my back piece is finished. It looks super super dope. Like I'm so yeah. like best. It's so shit. It's sick. Yeah. If anybody hasn't seen it, go check it out on his uh I'll put it on the Long Lost Brothers page too if you don't if you don't not opposed to it. Yeah, man, put um, it up there. Fuck yeah. Yeah. It says no one ca- no one cares, work harder. It's got hey, like, um, don't, a skeleton. Don't, don't put it up as a as a story either. Put it up as a post. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. that's what I heard it. I'm not gonna lie, like um if you watch my story I have this whole thing where I'm trying to like uh act tough. Um I'd take tattoos like not tough at all. Mm-hmm. Like or like I'm not I do not I don't I tell everybody I am not a tough guy when it comes to getting tattoos. It hurts. Yeah. Tattoos yeah. hurt. It doesn't fucking hurt, yeah. <laughs> yeah, but yeah, I'm just not gonna stop getting them ever. I love tattoos. Yeah. Uh yeah. Anyway, so then um now, you know, you know, I, uh, just, just to tell the audience now, for some reason, um, you thought it would be smart to just uh, put off the Long Lost Brothers challenge. It's not that I thought it would be smart. Is that I'm just a, a I'm just a busy motherfucker. You were supposed to. You're like you're like I'm gonna knock it out early. And I was yeah, like, I know you better. <laughs> I was like, you better <laughs> knock it out early. I literally just did it an hour ago. Yeah, and um, dude, my, okay, 
my legs hurt so bad this morning. Like, okay, I'm always up at seven o'clock, right? Like that's my sleep. I, like my sleeping, I wake up at like eight thirty. I slept yeah. till damn near eleven today. And I woke up and took my morning pee. And went back. I was like, I'm going back to bed. Um, and I woke up at eleven, dude. Like I was, in, I was in the dirt. Like my legs hurt, hurt. Yeah. And then, um, okay, I'm just gonna run through the day real fast. Uh, I got up and then we drove out to this to this airfield, and um. I'm with skydiving today, man. That's, the first so, time. that's so fucking cool, man. And if anybody knows anything about Jesse Cole, which the none of these our listeners probably know a ton, except for my friends that listen, but um I'm super scared of heights. Like like I, I used to pour concrete, I'd have to walk with this um with the with the boom that he pours the concrete on top yeah. of a, a, a sixteen foot wall, right? It's not that high, but I would be like wobbling, like scared, shaking, right? And I had a boom to hang on to. Okay, so <laughs> I'm just, okay, so I'm like literally doing like the breathing exercises I learned in therapy, like because <laughs> my my girlfriend and my roommate signed me up for this, and then there's like, come on, we're gonna do it, dude. Okay, so I'm I'm like I'm gonna do this. So it's like um. The the order that we're going is like my roommate, me, my 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 wife is right by me. She's going right behind me. She's done it before, and she's like, yeah, she's, she's all in. I'm like, yeah, I don't know why we're jumping out of a plane right now. It seems like a perfectly good plane. <laughs> yeah. um, we just have to stay in here, and it'll land, I think. Um, but okay, dude. So this is like the coolest thing ever. You get going. Oh, dude. <laughs> okay, so, so I told the dude. Okay, so you get a little instruction. I, this dude Joel, he's super cool. He's my instructor, my tandem. You know, you strap to a dude. He's the one that actually is jumping. You're just attached to an actual skydiver who yeah, is yeah. doing the work. So <laughs> I'm talking to this guy. I'm like, yeah. Uh, so we're gonna have to go like butt to butt. I don't do that nut to butt shit, bro. <laughs> and he's <laughs> and he thinks those shoes like what? I was like, are we go face to face? I can look you in the eyes. <laughs> no, I'm like, no, I'm just talking with you. <laughs> but anyway, so I was I was super proud I got that joke off. Anyway, um, so dude, but like, honestly, it is the coolest experience ever. You're like flying through the air, like you feel like a superhero. Seriously, like, like, I, like, like I'm like, uh, insanely jealous, dude. It's something I've always wanted to do. That I'm it's also you needed. I'm also like you, fucking terrified of doing it. Dude, just do it. Honestly, honestly, dude, just rip the band-aid. Like, I wouldn't have done it if my wife hadn't uh, signed me up. That's not something yeah. that I would pursue on my own. Right. But, it, dude, it was amazing. So, did that. I mean, um, I'm not really a one. I'm always been, like, kind of scared of swimming, too. And where we stopped when um, I delineated from the, the ketogenic diet and had a, a nice burger and some uh, some onion rings. Mm-hmm. And, um... But at this lake, it's on the way back. Um, there's a resort, and it has this this little diner. And then we're like, hey, uh, who is who you jump off the dock of that thing? If we swim right here, it's like, yeah, go. So I was like, all right, and jumped in the dock. And I've always like, it, it was cool. It was, it was great, man. I'm not really a one for swimming, really, because I just don't like swimming. I don't know. I'm kind of. I hate to say it, I sound like a real scaredy cat, but I'm scared of the water. And, but anyway, I jumped in the water. It was awesome. I did a little little flippy deal. You see that also on my on my Instagram? Yeah. Um, yeah, it was cool, man. It was, it was a very enjoyable day. And, and, and then I came back, and I was like, man, I got to go get these dolls lunges. And uh, oh, yeah. <laughs> it's funny because the track, because of COVID, is closed down. So I had to, like... I was like, dun dun dun, you're from the neighborhood Spider Man. He's like, jump the fence to get in. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I almost had to do that too. Luckily, they reopened, but. <laughs> yeah, well, I was just like, I don't know. I'm not going to go in here and vandalize or steal anything. I'm literally going to go in here and lunge around the track and right, take take my bang can with me. I'm not going to do anything criminal or any destructive or damaging right. things. I'm a, I'm an altruistic individual, wouldn't do any. So you knocked it out. So uh, how how did yeah. it feel? Did you have to stop a couple times? What, what's up? Uh, yeah, yeah. I got to where um, what I what I do is I I do like uh, ten or fifteen. Mm-hmm. And I get up and I count to five, and then I do like ten or fifteen. Yeah. Get up, count to five. Um, like because I ran sixteen miles today this morning. Like when I wanted to get out of bed, my legs were like. Like, you remember, like, your first leg day, which was your last day, leg day, which is the last leg day you're ever going to do? Yeah. Um, that's how I felt, dude. Like, this morning, I was like, this is not good. I was like, this is really rough, man. 
<laughs> like, like yeah. I'm not, and I'm not one to like, like I'm, I'm always sore. I'm con- like, I'm constantly living in a state of uh, one of my muscle groups is sore. You're right. just lucky, dude. You're lucky that you didn't do the challenge the day before the 16 mile run because you wouldn't have been. Able to, there's no fucking way, dude. Because yeah. I, I was hoping that you would do it though early enough that we could talk about how sore you got from the challenge. And I was, unfortunately, I was you just walking home. Yeah, yeah. I always liked that whole last night. I'm like, oh, little fucking jello legs. And then today I woke up, I'm like, fuck, I'm sore. And now tonight, I can barely fucking, I, I, I'm a truck driver. I can barely climb in and out of my truck. I'm like, oh, oh, oh fuck, I can't, I can't do it. Like, it's, oh, damn. it's good. It's rough. It's rough. I got, a, I got a five miler coming tomorrow, so we'll see. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah. I say knock it out early. Are you knocking out early? Uh, the The run? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I'll get up and bang it out. Yeah, because by, by by the evening, your legs are not going to be working anymore. I have a yeah. Feeling. Yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm to the point where five miles is like the, the easy one run, so I'm yeah. not really super, I'm not super scared. Yeah. But, um, yeah, I'm not. Like, my like my legs are tired of being sore. I'm, like, really starting to kind of uh, get tired of the run. <laughs> yeah. But you know what? It, it, it's it's going to be all right. Um, I'm like, like uh, I'm in the thick of it right now, the training block. Mm-hmm. So, uh, so you know, right now is the hard part. Um, I got two more real, real hard weeks of running, and then it lightens up a bit, and then um, it goes to a super light week, and then it's it's marathon time. That's cool. So, You're almost there, man. Yeah, yeah. So you know, you, you know, I just have to endure. You know, be resilient and be right. Okay, so enough about Jess's show. What's up with What's up with Brett Scott and um uh, and the lovely Miss Eva? Well, this was, tell me, this, tell me. this was kind of a, it, it was kind of like the opposite of your really crazy, cram-packed, fucking insane, uh, pushing to the max week, where I, for the first time in a long time, took some serious time off. Like, and what I consider serious time off is like, uh, I think I did three days of no running. Nice. Um, yeah. And uh, we went on a little mini vacation. And we went and saved this. Uh, if people go check out my uh, YouTube channel, I put a little video up of the place we went. It's fucking crazy. So it's like this little, uh, it's like this little bungalow, I guess. They call it a suite, um, but it's basically like its own little cottage. And you you go in, you have a garage. You pull in the garage, and then you walk through the garage door into the first floor. And the first floor of this building is uh, your own private swimming pool and dry sauna like it's fucking crazy and uh like my lady she's really into like she loves being in the water she loves swimming so um, we took full advantage of that pool we's in that thing fucking you know several times a day for a long period of time tried out the sauna uh she ain't hit to the sauna i stayed in there like 30 minutes at like 130 degrees it was kind of rough yeah but, yeah, uh, that's a lot. I I do. Yeah, I, I've saw it a bit when I was real active at the YMCA. It's good. I like it. Fun. It's all right. I dig I it. like the the you know, I, like, is all right. I love sweating, man. Like I so like yeah. if I I can work out super hard and be pouring sweat, or like I like to look like I just jumped out of a lake. You know what I mean? When I get yeah. down, there. um, and 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 the sauna kind of does that for you without yeah. the physical exertion. So uh, yeah, I call but, it the baptism. That's what I call the the sauna yeah, the baptism. Yeah, that's it. So uh, you go upstairs from the pool, and it's just basically a small apartment, man. It's like a suite. You go in, and there's a uh, there is a uh, what do you call it? Um, a jacuzzi tub, a big ass jacuzzi Damn. tub, and like you can there's a, if there's a TV on the wall, so you can sit there in the jacuzzi tub and watch TV and chill out. And you got a little kitchenette, and you go to the other the other side of the of the little. Uh, sweet and you got this big ass fucking ultra king size bed and a little breakfast table and a huge ass tv mounted on the wall it was fucking nice dude. like and it, it cost a pretty penny but the way yeah. that we did it was uh if you go during the week it's like fucking right. like, like 60 right. 70 dollars a day cheaper so we're like fuck yeah we'll go during the week and uh this yeah. is something that Eva has been wanting to do for years, and we finally got to do it, so it felt nice, it felt nice to do that. And we ate all yeah. kinds of bullshit junk food, dude. Like we yeah. had uh, one uh, night, yeah. <laughs> one night we had uh, 
uh, the first night we had, um, shit, I don't remember. Uh, we had like, damn, I, I don't remember. You told me something about the pizzas. Yeah, I, that was the second night. So the first night, every, like, <laughs> every meal we had was like out out to eat, fucking. We, yeah, we, it was like we, high octane bullshit. Yeah, yeah. So we, yeah. we like ordered in and, and then went and picked up the food. And so like the first night we had a bunch of food. And then the second day we got up and we went out like shopping and shit and bullshit around. And uh, my old lady drank some... Uh, we uh patron and shit like that and i don't get down with that shit anymore but uh she had a good time and i had a good time with her and nice. so we did that and then the next yeah the next day we had uh pizza and then crazy like we went to this ice cream shop got some <laughs> ridiculous fucking ice cream and then the next yeah. day on the way out of town we got up and we had like I don't remember what it was. We fucking went and got Wendy's breakfast and just fucking bashed, yeah. and then went out to get more ice cream before we hit the road and head back home. So it was crazy. I I actually I'm right now in the middle of another like one day fast just to reset my body from all that bullshit. Yeah, yeah. So um, that was my kind of fun time. My weekend. I came back. I did the long lost brothers Dolph Lundgren challenge. I and, saw that uh, video. He called me out in your story, and I was like, "This, this guy." Yeah, it was. Uh, <laughs> it was fun. My son went with me. Like, yeah, yeah. My son was having a little bit of a hard time, like, uh, getting along with the family or whatever. And so I'm like, you know what? Let's go out to the track. Let's go. You can come with me, and you can help me film, and then we can go hiking or whatever. So. Um, we got away for a little bit and spent some time together and it was all good. It was all good. Good times. And I woke up today yeah. feeling like I can barely fucking walk. So that was my very different, but very cool fucking week. Yeah. But that, that's awesome. Like, I feel like I'm uh, just like, um, knocking the, the bucket list off. Like mm-hmm. the marathon. I got the, my whole back is blast with a big old tattoo now. And I, I jumped out of an airplane and like um Yeah, you're checking yeah. them off, dude. That's crazy. Yeah, I think we're in a zip line at some point. I don't know if that's gonna happen this summer, but um but yeah, I think that zip line's our next deal. Um yeah. So uh, uh, what, what, what I was gonna ask you, you sent me that link this morning to Batman. So I wanna talk <laughs> about that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh I wanna talk about Glitter Boy <laughs> he even a gangster. Yo, dude. Um Robert Pattinson is the new Batman. Okay, so um, I'm gonna make a, a slight a slight admission. I actually have watched pretty much all of those movies that he was in. I don't remember what they're called. The uh, you know with Kristen whatever, uh, and the uh, the wolf and the. <laughs> I don't okay, know. I got you're talking you're talking about Twilight. 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 I got a I got a gang of sisters, and I don't want to hear from anybody that, that, that wants to doubt my gangster. But, yeah, but it's also it all takes place in your neck of the woods, man. Dude, no, I'm I, I'm like a mile away. From, no, not a mile. I mean, I'm like an hour, hour and a half out from where they filmed all that shit. Yeah. Like 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 we're on the, my running route. There's a sign to the town where they filmed that. Legit. That's cool. uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so what what do you think of him now? Is wait first. Let me ask you, what did you think before? Like you already knew he was gonna be playing Batman, right? I just thought he was gonna be too skinny, man. Yeah, too skinny, too. I was just like, boy. I was like, boy, I will smack the shit. He should be playing the Riddler. That's what I was thinking, really. That's how he got my image. I will yeah. smack the fuck out of that as that as Batman. Come on, yeah. man. But. Okay, well, let's fast forward to the trailer a little bit. Okay, the, so, the trailer released yesterday, and I woke up this morning and saw it, and I was like, oh, I got to send this out. So I sent it to you, and I sent it to my buddy Justin, who I host another podcast with. And both of you seem to think it was pretty fucking dope. And I, okay. as well, think it's pretty fucking sweet. But go ahead. Okay, so I think if we take the movie effects out, I'll still throw hands at Robert Patton. But, <laughs> um, but when, he, when he knocks it and he smacks dude up and says, I am Vincent. I'll yeah. Say, I was like, I'm in, I'm in, all right, because he's a little, he's a little more physically brutal than the uh, other Batman. Yeah, well, well, uh, a lot of people hate on Ben Affleck as Batman, but I actually think like he's a good fucking like dark brooding Bruce Wayne. Like 
he yeah. really, I, I like yeah. his character, dude. I like it. Yeah. Yeah, like, it's just because of Ben Affleck. He he ruined Daredevil, but I'll give him his part as Batman. Yeah, he's a, legit Bruce, he's a legit Bruce Wayne for sure. He plays yeah, he plays a good Bruce Wayne. And, and like, okay, and say what you want, but my my favorite Batman is definitely always going to be Christian Bale. Yeah, you can't. You won't make fun of it, but but that whole series. That series is hard. He got yokes, you know. I mean, he did the whole thing, you know. Yep. Like, um, but. Okay, so but, but anyway, that 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 has come and gone, and now we're on to Robert Patton. Mm-hmm. So I'm kind of excited because it's like, okay, so I'm not super deep intertwined to the DC universe. I'm more of a a, a Marvel seller, if you yeah. will. Same here. So who the so who the fuck is this villain? Oh well, okay. So it's funny that you say that because at the beginning of this, you said uh, you thought rap, Robert Pattinson should be the Riddler, and the Riddler. Oh, that, that's yeah. 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 Oh, that that makes sense. Yeah, all those little, like, messages he's sending to Batman and shit. I don't know why they're putting two and two together. Yeah, so there's that. But also, the Penguin is in this thing. And they don't really, like, show that much in the in the uh, trailer. But if you notice, there's this point where it shows all these people in, like, dark makeup. It kind of reminded me of Batman Returns. Yeah. Where, yeah. like, all the Penguin little henchmen and shit looked like that. Like, they had, like, white makeup and yeah. black on their eyes and shit. I also like the Penguin was a bum. I mean, I like Oswald Copperpot in, in Gotham. But yeah, like, I, I, I'm not going to lie. I did beat the shit out of him. I did, uh, my plan a long time ago was to make a video about, a YouTube video about the top, my top five least favorite <laughs> characters. And the Penguin is one of those top five. I fucking hate the Penguin. I think it's a horrible character but some people love him man but they, they twisted movie... him up in Gotham they, in the show Gotham they twisted him all up made him real interesting mm-hmm. the, the actor is really you know it seems he's dark and sinister and he does a good job and, and they gave him like that, that, that whole mob tie kind of aspect to him which makes him interesting but like in Batman Returns I was like Dane DeVito I'm like who yeah. the fuck well, that kind of ruined talking. it for me. I think that, and then the classic. I was trying to this phone in the belly. Shit, pork chop. That, uh, <laughs> that, and uh, the the like the Adam West Batman, like that penguin. Yeah, you know? yeah. Um, like yeah. it just kind of ruined the character for me. I'm like, this is okay. Crazy. You know, this is so. Crazy. With with that being said, Adam West is actually from my hometown, Walla Walla, Walla Washington. Look at that, full circle. Yeah. Oh, and then no, no, I'm taking it in another circle. So you know, in this new trailer, uh, how's underneath the bridge? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That, that, there you okay, go. That's Kurt, that, that's Kurt Cobain. It is. And I currently live in Aberdeen, Washington, which is the home of Kurt Cobain. It uh, is. Hometown. Isn't that weird? That is cool, man. Hey, yeah. I actually six, thought six, I'm six like degree the separation from Jesse Cole, dude. I never, <laughs> I never would have imagined uh, that song in a Batman trailer. But, yeah, but it's cool because like, it kind of it was perfect, it up dude. The end. And yeah. the end, how they had the same melody but not with the same instruments. Yeah, that was cool. I'm not gonna I, lie. I, I thought the song played really fucking well, and yeah, I was like, oh real, shit! As soon as it started playing, I'm like, oh shit! I like this trailer yeah. already. But yeah, real me in, real um, me right in. Get, so okay. guess who's playing the Penguin in this? You know. Um, Kevin Bacon. Uh, nah, nah. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Nah. <laughs> uh, Colin Farrell is playing the Penguin. What? Yeah, it's kind of crazy, dude. Like, uh, and okay. I, I talked about this earlier uh, on my podcast, but um, he played Bullseye in that movie that you just said Ben Affleck fucking ruined. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he was terrible. Yeah, terrible. Colin Farrell was also terrible. Yep, he was. He was terrible in that role, dude. Terrible. Yeah, Kevin Smith, man, God bless him, but he had no business trying to direct that movie. Yeah, yeah. It, it was not... <sighs> hey, was but not you know good. what? I'll say this. If that movie came on TV and I was sitting down, yep. probably wouldn't change channel. I don't know channel. me either. I know it. I'm the just same, man. Know, Hulk. I also, also watched that. It wasn't the best one, but you know what? Still incredible Hulk. Yep. <laughs> you still biting missiles and ass. Yep, I still watch it. I still watch yeah. that Eric, Eric Banner Yeah, I watch yeah it. that's what I'm talking about. Yeah, yeah weird head. <laughs> <laughs> so, As you, we done with the Batman talk. You think, uh, is this what, a day what, 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 what is this other podcast that you got going, though? This Marvel Plus? Oh, Marvel Plus. Uh, Marvel Plus is, uh, it, it's, it's, going to be a companion podcast 
to the Marvel Plus Disney series when they start up. Oh, okay, okay. And so Maybe what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna I'm gonna do I'm not sure I haven't figured out yet if I'm gonna do it solo if I'm gonna do it with hosts maybe different hosts like different weeks like I'll bring on friends to fucking host with me, nice. um, but it will be like after every episode we're gonna break down and fucking just geek out over the latest episode talk about all that happened and like make predictions nice. about what's gonna happen shit like that. Yeah, yeah. I, I can't I, I can't wait for that man. You know what else I'm interested about while we're on the Geekdom? Uh, is that, that uh, director's cut of Jets Week. Yeah. You know what's funny is I, I've i probably only made it like 30 minutes into Je- the original, like the actual <gasps> Jets Week film. Yeah, yeah. I just tried to my imaginary pearls. <laughs> Dude, I didn't like it, man. I was like, ah, oh, this is something. Like they're trying too hard to make this like. And then you got you to gotta get, get past that first 30 minutes. Give me a look. I think, up the game, bro. I think that this Snyder cut is, if, from what it sounds, is going to be way more of what the movie should have been. Well, and, yeah, I mean, the, just the little depictions that are showing his characters are not even in the other movie. Yeah, and it's, it's, dude, I'm hearing this. I'm not sure if this is accurate or not, but I heard that it is a four hour cut. Nice. I can, do, I can do it. Like, yeah, dude, I sit through fucking Avengers Endgame. I, I yeah. can definitely sit through a you know three to four hour movie, no problem. Especially hey, with like, like my comic book geek bullshit. I love it. And you know, you know what I really like about uh, Aquaman right now is that uh, you know they kind of made him uh, like they 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 kind of switched his race, but they didn't make it like weird. You know, like yeah, this is what this is what a. Uh, uh, person from uh atlanta would look like you know yeah like, like, like yeah he's not gonna look like a freaking blonde white guy like a super weird for sure <laughs> you know like, like this is like way more accurate to like what would it actually be i think yeah you know? probably yeah probably everything was fucking super white back in the day there, there, was, there was like hardly yeah. any fucking you know dark skin characters at all back in the day so yeah yeah and i like how they're kind of bringing it like you know making it more realistic like and I like how, yeah, there's a lot of things. I don't want to get into all that too much, but like, um, but yeah, yeah I'm, 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 I'm so, you have to bring that cyborg, or not a cyborg, um, you have to bring that director's cut. Is that going to the DC Universe app? Do you know? No, HBO Max. Oh, cool. Because I already yeah. bought that from my freaking Amazon. Yeah, I yeah, swear. It's uh, specifically for HBO Max. Oh, nice. So, uh, yep. I'm, pumped, dude. I'm, I'm excited yeah. to watch that. I'm excited to watch this new Batman movie. And, you know, it's like sometimes I worry that they're doing too many different versions of Batman too close together. And it's just going to get yeah. like, you know, the public's going to be like, eh, fucking Batman. But this one looks fucking, I was pleasantly surprised by that trailer. I can't wait to watch will, it now. I will always watch uh, Batman. I will too. I'll, like I'll, I'll watch any comic book movie story. Like if you turn a comic book into a movie, this is the stuff that when I was a kid, like in like mid nineties, I was like, man, I wish they would make fucking comic book movies. Like you know, yeah. what I mean? like, they just didn't make any. I was like, I can't wait though. Someday they're gonna make an X Men movie, and then they did. You know, you know, I was like, yeah. oh shit, and then and, it just slowly exploded from there. And then two thousand eight came, and Iron Man came out, and then. It's fucking Iron, Iron, yeah. Iron here Man is doing it. It started getting real. Yeah, here we are. It was like it was like okay, this is the bar. Here we are. Comic books, comic book movies are fucking the mainstream movies now. Yeah, and yeah. Like you, you, you want an action movie? If it doesn't have a superhero, get the fuck out of town. Yeah, I, I'm serious. They ain't making no money. <laughs> I, I'm serious. Like the yeah. comic book movies run the fucking world right now and it's crazy to think that when i was a kid it was like a fringe thing and it was like and eh, they're never gonna make fucking real but, man, hey, michael keaton killed it too though like oh, batman oh, yeah. so, so batman that whole series is cool but it got a little zany as much as i lived love jim carrey yeah it got uh, after michael keaton left yeah. too yeah, like I don't know, and Ralph Kilmer, come on, man, get out of here. You're Give me a, this is something uh, uh, I, I don't know we haven't talked about, but have you heard about the upcoming Flash movie? No, and oh, you gonna have that dude. same uh, the same dude from Justice League that I heard like yeah, he's having some kind of okay, so he's dialed in. Yep, he's for sure in it, and but check this out. I, I, ooh, ooh. You're gonna is, it gonna, is it going to be Flashpoint? I think it's going to be Flashpoint. I think I'm almost Flashpoint. positive it's going to be Flashpoint. And you know what? 
You know what that opens up for? Guess who's guess who has signed on to be in it? Uh, you're just gonna have to tell me. Michael Keaton. What? Yep. They're gonna because he's going to different be... timelines and shit, dude. Oh, so does that put him in like? Is Michael Keaton gonna be like the Batman? In a different... I, I think he's going to be like probably like older, either retired or fucking on his way out, Batman. You know what I mean? Like, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. I do know yeah. what you're talking about. Yeah, and then I, I had a moment click. I didn't mean to go yeah, yeah, yeah into the microphone for. It's cool. For and, and then also, Ben Affleck is also going to be in it, playing his version uh, of Batman. That's that's interesting. So it, I wonder if they're gonna reverse. Is is the Batman gonna even be? I don't think so. This is his own thing. Yep, I think the Batman is it's supposed to be is what they said. It's it's like kind of its own universe, kind of like the Joker, like it's its own thing. Because I was trying to figure out how the Joker is already forty, and he's gonna be. You know, he's going to be fighting Batman, who's a babe, like, you know, like, eight years old. I'm like, this isn't going to even be fair, man. Right. <laughs> you know, he's going to be yeah, like 80 when he's a the man. Timeline, the timeline don't make no sense. It, it's almost, it's it's worse than the X-Men timeline. <laughs> like, it's, it's okay. crazy. But I think, yeah, dude, that Flashpoint, I think, is going to be fucking dope, dude. Like, it's going to be Michael Keaton's going to be in it, and Ben Affleck's going to be in it. And who knows what the fuck they're going to do. If he's going to different versions, different realities and shit, you could see shit on fucking uh, the, the, the DC Arrowverse on that bitch. Like, no he, could, he, he could run into Grant Gustin, you know what I mean? That would be dope. I would, I would, honestly, I thought they should let Grant Gustin be the legit Flash in the DC I Universe. I love that, dude. He, he's dope. I, I had to stop watching about season four. I was like, this is getting a little out there. But, uh, silly. Yeah. Okay, so uh, we were talking about action movies, and uh, Dolph Lundgren, he was um, the, the, the the one of the, the action heroes of the 80s, and we're saying how um, action movies have kind of died except for um, superhero ones. Do you yeah. remember, um, I was scrolling through Amazon last night, do you remember uh, Universal Soldier? Fuck yeah, it's one of my favorites, dude. When I was a kid. Yeah. I love that shit. It's Jean Claude, right? Jean Claude and Dolph, Lund- Dolph Lundgren both. Oh, all right, perfect. So that ties in superbly to yeah. the challenge. Dolph Lundgren was the villain in that movie. That's right, that's right, yep. that's right. Okay. So, um, I was gonna issue this week's uh Long Lost Brothers challenge. Mm-hmm. Okay, you you on a you on a barbell, right? I do. <laughs> I, I own a barbell. Okay, you, you, and are you aware of what an overhead press is? I am. I haven't broken out the barbell in quite a long time, but yeah. Oh, you better do, better, get, better get some. Uh, get I tell some you, that, that area of my basement became our storage, man. When all this COVID hit, and I joined a gym, yep. like I joined a gym so I could work out. And like my old lady's like, man, if you're gonna join a gym, let's just use this area for storage. I'm like, yeah, but I need to do my okay. squats and shit. And she's like, no, 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 we're gonna use it for storage. I was like, all right. So yeah, the barbell's buried. Okay, I can well. get it out. All right, okay. So I, to, I I'm gonna have to do this work out of my office gym. Okay, so uh, it's essentially just gonna be. Um, Please let it be the bar. <laughs> it's just the bar. Okay. <laughs> But it's a uh, it's, it's three hundred overhead presses for mm. time. For time, as fast oh. as you can. Okay. So you know, I mean, chop it up how you want. But um, that that's very doable. But your shoulders are gonna hurt the next day. Oh yeah, three hundred overhead presses with forty five pounds. Yep. For for time. Yeah. And what are you gonna call this challenge? The universal shoulder. Oh shit! <laughs> oh. You say great instead of a bitch. <laughs> I like, dude, I like that. I like it so much. Like I, I that that's foreshadowing. Tell me it's not foreshadowing. That's cool, man. Yeah, nice man. That was beautiful. Yeah. <laughs> beautiful. I, thought, I, I thought about that last night. Like Universal Soldier, huh? So, yeah. Like I said it with a lisp because I was super tired. Uh-huh. I was like, Soldier, Soldier, Soldier. Say hi. Yeah. I got it. Uh-huh. <laughs> Universal Soldier, huh? <laughs> That's cool, man. Hey, yeah. I, 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 it's, I think it's funny, though. You keep, you keep picking things that I haven't worked out in fucking months. 
<laughs> I'm not gonna lie. This is out of vengeance for you making me do uh, <laughs> do yeah. uh, this leg workout on top of running 36 miles this week. Yeah. Well, you're welcome. I, I'm not. Um, <laughs> I I'm not you. that worried about it. You know, nah, what I mean? this is gonna this is gonna be cake. Yeah. I don't know. About honestly, that, it's it's not gonna be hard, but your shoulders are gonna hurt for a day or two. For sure. I'm ready. You should be like. I think you could probably do it in. It takes less than a second to do a rep of this. So if you just don't go too hard out the gate, it should be easily completable, like within like an hour, hour ten. Okay. Easy so we're gonna, we're gonna try to uh, see who gets the best time. Yeah. Yeah, I, I'm gonna I'm gonna um go hard in the paint. I think I'm gonna do 500. Or no, I'm gonna do like 300 push-ups tonight though. Also, because I eat so when much do you plan on doing your challenge? <laughs> Probably Tuesday. Cause I don't know. I'm my my legs feel like shit, but my shoulders feel pretty fresh. I might go in the next day or two. So yeah, I'll see you in um. We'll see. I don't know. I gotta run five miles tomorrow, and I don't know what. Uh, tell me if this happens to you, but when you run a long, long run, does your shoulders like start locking up, like getting like tense? Yeah, like, yeah. It, it's just. Is it's it just the, a dehydration thing, or is it? Just, I think that's part of it, and I think it's also just the um the repetitive motion and I think that I think that your form starts to break down so you start running like shit you know what I mean yeah because I have like this technique with it I've inter- introduced off of um watching a lot of running stuff because I'm trying to become right now like you know I, I mean I look jacked and I'm big but like you know I look um, I got a belly whatever a little bit you know like I, I'm not like a, I just I don't look like a marathon runner by any means okay right but, right I'm focused on running as my primary thing mm-hmm. that, right now, you know? So, um, so I'm, I'm watching the running stuff, trying to learn some things. Um, and I'm the watching form, form and technique and shit. Yeah. And, um, so I'm doing this thing where he's like, yeah, you got whipping your right hand and you're just whipping the whole way. Right. Like and when you're doing it, like you, I read this book about marathon running and the guy said he keeps an MP3 player in his hand. So he, and he just whips it back and forth them to MP3 player. And that's how he knows he's keeping his cadence. Right. Gotcha. And so, um, I was like, all right, cool. Um, I'll try that. And this guy, you know, this guy's doing it. Um, they, they was doing this little video. He's like, you know, he runs like three hour marathons. So I'm like, okay, well, he probably knows what the fuck he's talking about. He's a monster. Right. Right. Um, I mean, he, you know, he weighs like a buck 36 and he's um, a little linkier than I am. Yeah. Uh, you know, he's, he's built like a runner. I am not, I'm built like a bowling ball. But um, you know what? I'm, I'm not going to give up in my pursuit of, um, my acquisition of betterment. I'm not going to quit. I set out to do this thing and not and check it off my list, so it'll be checked off. Uh, you're gonna you you're know? gonna blow away my time for sure. Like I, I already know. I don't. I, I don't know. know. I don't know. I've been looking. I've been looking at these freaking. Uh, my my times have been breaking down as the as the the runs get as the run is getting longer. I'm like, yeah, that they do. But my body was untrained past 14 miles, and you're already like past that. So Dude, I think you're gonna. Yeah. I think you're gonna shave uh, a probably an hour off of my time. Like no, I doubt that. And where where would you get five what? Five twenty two. It's fucking horrible. It was. Uh, okay. I think it was so almost. Had, it, it ended up at the very end being an almost like uh, upper elevens uh, pace per mile. So like okay. eleven something minutes per mile. Okay, so check it out. Um, I was like yeah, like almost at eleven minutes at sixteen. Mm-hmm. But my average was ten twenty six, so um, we'll see. Next week I run seventeen miles. Uh, but dude, honestly, I'm like after after this last run, I was like, I don't know if I can do this, man. Like yeah. in my head, I was like, that with me, that would be pretty good. I'm gonna try to be smarter and uh, get a little better night's sleep and uh, yeah, let's not, more. Let's not do uh, let's not do snatches the night before. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna try and uh, actually take it a little more like, like you know what? I got a big day tomorrow. <laughs> like, you know, exactly. It's a exactly. thing, man. Like that's a, and I gotta say, like I picked a terrible time to start training a marathon because it's like I really want to do fun stuff on Saturdays with my 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 wife, my kids, mm-hmm. and um, you know, summer and it's the opportune time. But it's like, man, I got this big run to kick my ass and ruin my day like every Saturday. Yeah, and it's and it's temporary. You're gonna get those Saturdays back real fucking soon. So. 
Yeah, I, I I think I'm just gonna if I do this again next year, which I might. I don't know. I might. I'm kind of thinking I'm just gonna do a couple five mile runs a week and then yeah. just do bodybuilding shit and just be jacked and uh, jacked and fast. Yeah, I think that's where I'm at. I'm gonna start. I'm gonna get back in the gym here soon and uh, just maintain my running to where I'm doing like uh, maybe like 20 miles a week, 15, 20 miles a week, and just uh, maintain that a little bit of cardio. A little bit of, uh, you know, endurance and, but start. I want it so that it's like, if the the situation arises where, hey, I'm off like running a half marathon, I can do that. Yeah. And ain't gonna ruin, ain't gonna ruin the day. Like, you know, like a half marathon sucks, but I could definitely do that. Like, yeah, yeah. I I would like Um, to stay in half marathon shape at all times. That'd be great. Yeah, that, and then I want to maintain uh, some visible abdominal muscles and yeah. big shoulders, and uh, of course, big biceps. Gotta do it. You got big biceps. Come on, yeah. you're doing your life. V taper, son. Yeah, yeah, I do it. <laughs> I do not have a V taper today. I'm the most bloated fucker ever right now. I was looking at my video, I was like, oh my god, a very bloated Jesse doing the um, the dive engine challenge. Yeah, that's how I felt too, and that's why that's why I'm like, uh, I'm fasting for a fucking day. I, I ran today on my sore ass leg. It hurt really fucking bad, and uh, yeah. and I was like, you know what? I feel good. I think I'm just gonna wait till tomorrow to eat my first meal. So that's probably what I'll do. Yeah, I had that big meal. No, I'm good. I'm not gonna eat no dinner or nothing. I'm just gonna call it a good, call it a night. You know, and just right. you know, get get back on the path. Back on the yeah. All right, let's, wrap, let's wrap this thing up, man. Yeah, we've probably been going about an hour or so. Close, close. All right, brother. Well, uh, so 300 reps. Uh, you can do push press if it gets too painful. Um, let's try and keep it strict if we can until uh, until the form is not there. Then you can push press it. You know what I mean? Okay. Uh, 300, um, 300 overhead presses. Four yeah, times. Shoulder to, yeah. With forty five pounds, with just the bar. Yeah, just the bar. Who, uh, or just the bar. Who, I don't want to. I don't want to make hey, it crazy. Hey, hey, yeah, and for those who don't have a bar or whatever, man, uh, forty five pounds. Try to find yeah. something that's forty five pounds. Get you uh, a set of twenty dumbbells or you know, 25. whatever. Get you some tens. If you got, if you just want to play, just come play. Yeah, I want yeah. people to do this, man. I want people to do it with us so so we can see how it went for other people. That's what I really want from this is other people to take on these challenges too. Yeah, I would enjoy that as well. My bro, oh, my brother, uh, my roommate, he did the, the the challenge with me too, and that was that was pretty. That was oh, hell yeah, that's cool. Yeah, yeah. So, so hopefully we playing some. He went out playing with me today, and then uh, we jumped in the lake, and then uh, we did the luncheon. I want a lot of people doing this. I think it'd be cool. Have a little community of long lost brother challenge people. That'd be cool. Yeah, because you know, that would that would be cool. Because like all we're trying to do is just like push altruism and uh, you know, a betterment. And, yeah. uh, get better, get stronger, move forward. Yeah, push, you know. Push through, you know. Yeah. One hundred percent. All right. Oh, everybody, you can, can, uh, this week. Yeah, you can follow Jesse at Cole with a K uh on Instagram and you can follow me. Uh, at Real Brett Scott on Instagram and Twitter, and um, you can follow us on Facebook. Just look up at Long Lost Brother, or look up Long Lost Brothers Podcast, or on Instagram at Long Lost Brothers underscore Podcast. And thanks for listening. We will talk to you again next week. All right, sayonara. Later. <laughs>